Good morning and welcome. It is Monday the 25th of April. I am Flat Cap Callum and I'm hoping you are all very, very well. All right, coming up today, we've got a normal staking day. Um, so we'll do the review of yesterday. I'll do normal stake. So it's £20, our normal stake, four bets, three lucky 15s, one double, all each way, 14 horses, 13 races, mainly at Nace um, over in Ireland. Um, and then uh, for those of you who want, I'll stay on and do a little bit of the stats run down from last week. All right, review of yesterday. We had a little go um, and uh, we didn't quite get there. So we needed three, well, so we needed four places or two winners. No winners, we got three places and therefore we didn't make any money. So 850 on, 166 back. That first one was really, really disappointing. It ended up coming last. It was massively backed in, came last. Something was a bit awry. Uh, then we had Portland Bay placed, RYR placed. It's how we roll. Couldn't quite got to get there. It was a bit too far back and got going at the end, but not close enough. Prince of Abington placed. So 166 back off 850. Um, the golf kind of fizzled out yesterday. Um, I mean, it's it's annoying. We've got Ashley Chester's, Justin Walters. You know, one, one's 125 to one, one's 300 to one. Um, you know, so we're, we're playing big prices. I'm not looking at the favourites. Um, they both finished top top 30 in the end. Um that's nice, but it doesn't make you any money. So, uh, so, so no good on the golf. So, um, overall, it, yeah, it, it it wasn't. We didn't do a lot yesterday, but it wasn't a great day. Um, and we finished the week uh, on a on a massive loss. So the biggest loss in terms of money on the channel, not the biggest percentage loss, but the biggest monies. So it was one hundred and forty on, only fifty two ninety six back. Uh, so it was an eighty seven pound loss. So that was really hefty, and I really appreciate it. for those of you who were sticking to the plan um, that you, you would have felt that. I know the week before we made more money than that, but it's still going to hurt a little bit. I appreciate that, and that's why I'm always saying stake the same. So if you're following the plan that I do in, in the same money, do that. If you half what I do, if you double it, whatever, stick to the same amounts um, overall. So I'll do more stats in a little bit. Um, but what I will say, and I, I acknowledge this um, on my written review in the comments yesterday, I'm going to have a real good look through um, what I'm doing on the channel because I'm no noticing the last few weeks we've been much more spiky up and down than we, we previously had been um, in terms of when we've won, we've won a bit more. When we've, won, we've lost, we've lost a bit more. Um, and I'd rather try and lower the variance a little bit. Um, Part of it is the time of year because when the jump season comes to the end, um, you, you start to get a few funny results and you start to sort of have the, the spring jumpers, um, and, you know, certain horses who don't run well in the winter but then come out and run run well in the spring. Um, so that changes. And then with the flat, sometimes it's quite hard because you're, you're working angles off horses that are running first time out and that changes a few things. So once the season gets a bit more established, the form can be a little bit more consistent once horses have run a couple of times and you kind of know where they're at. So there's a little bit of that, and I, I don't, just be really clear, it's not me making excuses. It's a little bit of that, and, and a little bit, I'm gonna have a real good look at what I'm doing um, in terms of A, making the selections, but B, how I'm doing the staking as well. So I'm not saying that anything's gonna dramatically change, but I'm gonna make some tweaks. Um, we are about value and it is a high risk uh, strategy. So we will have bad weeks. I've said it all along. Um, that's part of the gig. But I am going to have a little look at uh, some things. And then particularly I'm going to have a look at the golf this week. Because um, I, I, I haven't decided yet. But I might make some quite significant changes how I'm doing the golf bets as well. Because with golf you do have to wait a while until you get a win. And early on on the channel we had two nice wins in, in kind of three weeks apart and then we've just got bits and bobs or nothing back um, and that is part of golf betting it's way harder than horses you know I don't make the same profit margins on golf as I do on horses and at the moment we're, we're making no money on golf on the channel we've lost um, so I'm going to have a look at that for the weekend that will be um, on Wednesday's video anyway Wednesday's video is golf yes yes Yes, I'm talking right. Yeah, when Wednesday is when I do the golf bets, um, so they'll be on on Wednesday's video. All right, I'll go through today's bet and then I'll do a little bit more on stats for those that want it. So what we've got: three lucky fifteens, 
And today, I'm not sure I'm going to do this normally, but it kind of worked today and I thought I'd try it. I've tiered them a little bit. So three lucky 15s, but they each have a different stake attached to them. So it's it's a way of ranking them um, because you wouldn't necessarily know by the odds. But I'm giving you a little bit of a, a, a nudge to say one of these lucky 15s, if I could have one lucky 15, it would be that one. If I could have two, it would be those two. And if I was doing a third, it would be this one. So for those of you who don't want to stick to the staking plan... I'm suggesting to you that two of them, or one of the, well, one's better than two and two's better than three. It's entirely up to you to do with it. But if you're sticking with the plan, stick to all of it because you never quite know. I'm not saying one's bad, otherwise I wouldn't put it on the channel, would I? So what we got here, first lucky 15 is bet one. Important to flag a couple of things. One is uh, all of these races are no extra places. These are all standard term races, I think, with all bookmakers so it's first three, fifth of the odds. All four are standard terms here. No extra places. That's not because I've just gone looking and gone, you know, where can I find things? But if I was quite disappointed, to be honest, when I went and looked at the English racing. Um, and that's why a lot of what I've got today is nice. But this is literally my best horse from each of the English meetings. So my best Southall, my best Lingfield, my best Windsor, my best Thursk. So... If they all go down, it's not looking great, is it? So 410 Southern, we've got Daffy, 17 to 2, 420 Lingfield, Durado, 9 to 1, 655 Windsor, the Whipmaster, 10 to 1, and 735 Thirsk, Pearl Reef. So everybody here is getting best price guaranteed when you put this on, as long as you get a bookmaker that has got best price guarantee. And the other thing to flag as well, 4.10, that's the first race I've got today. I've got nothing else in the afternoon. So the first race I've got a selection in today is the 10 past four. So it's it's all late stuff. So it's a 20p each way lucky 15. Note, each lucky 15 is a different value today. 20p lucky 15 is bet one. That is basically my second best lucky 15. Okay, this is my third best lucky 15. Um, so we've got here the 430 Airs is the only air horse I've got. It's it's a good race to have a little look at because it's a really short price favourite. This one's come in a lot. It was it was marked up badly last night and you could have got 40s and 33s on that. It's come in, I think 10 to 1's a fair price, but I still think it's worth a go. So we're going to go Gakali Girl 10 to 1. And then this 515 at Nace, that's the race I've got two in. Not because I think it's necessarily the best race, but I liked two. Um, and this horse, Jujen Pressing, it did me quite a few favours last year on a few bets. And I'm, I'm not sticking with it because I'm loyal necessarily to the horse because, you, you know, you don't want to get stuck in those sort of holes. Um, but there's a lot on paper that is good about this horse and 50 to 1 is overpriced. So it's my number two horse, um, but it's got a ton of value at 50. So I didn't want to leave it out. So we've got Jujen Pressing in the 515 at Nace and there's another one in the next uh, in the last bet. Then we've got 7.15, Nace, Zoffman, 10 to 1. And then the 5 past 8 at Thirsk, northbound, 17 to 2. So this one is a 16 pence each way, lucky 15. That is bet 2. Then bet 3 is a, a, a little double. So I've got two unraced horses at Nace that I think are worth a go. Um... So I've stuck them together as singles and a double. So this, the 4.45 at Fendi, I think it's a really good price, 50 to 1 um, in the in the race structure. So I want to have a go at that as an unraced horse. I think it's got decent breeding. And then the 6.45, believe in miracles. Breeding-wise, this horse looks like it's going to be a cracker. The problem here is you've got some decent Aidan O'Brien horses and it's a really big field. So it's not the kind of... You know, if that was a 10 runner, I'd be getting really excited. Um, but there's a lot more runners in that race. Um, so it it needs to be needs to be good to make the frame. So what I've done there is a 30p each way double and two 35 pence each way singles on those two unraced ones. Um, yeah, definitely worth a go. Um, and for different reasons, I, I would, uh, yeah, I, I I wouldn't split them. I'd say they both they both got an equal chance in terms of value, uh, although that's a bigger price. Okay. And then the last one, this is my main lucky 15 in terms of stake. So this is all at Nace. We've got the 515, so my second horse there. So it's my number one horse, but the second horse today. Additional 515, it's the additional horse, 10 to 1. Then the 545 approach to life, 16 to 1. 
the 745 Focus Required, 9 to 1, and then the 815 Dark Street, 22 to 1. Those of you who like doing a bit of wordplay in the comments, I think this bet is absolutely made for you. I haven't done it deliberately, but you could definitely turn that into a story. Um, this one is a 24 pence each weight, lucky 15. So we've got a 16p, a 20p, and this is a 24 pence each way one. As I said, I'm not necessarily going to do this every day. I thought I would do it today. It kind of lended itself to it um, because you wouldn't necessarily know from each of the price, the value prices, which one I'm saying is the better one. But if I could only do one lucky 15 today, I'd do this one. Um, and that, that's what I'd say. All right. That is that. Um, other stats. So for those of you who want the stats, um, I guess I'm just, just kind of flagging. If I run through, last week was an 87 loss. So if you'd only followed the bets last week, you would think uh, I am some sort of crackpot on here who, who knows nothing. Um, you might be right. But um, but 87 loss was what we got last week. If you've been on the channel two weeks, you'd actually be in £25 profit. If you've been on the channel three weeks, you'd have broke even. If you've been on the channel four weeks, you'd be running at about £75 loss. So you wouldn't be very good. If you've been on the channel five weeks or more, you will have had profit. And the reason I'm going through that is it, this is about long term profit. On any given week, I will lose. Um, at the moment, I think it's uh, eight winning weeks, seven losing weeks, but the winning profit is outweighing. So we are currently still 16% up all bets on the channel, 19.5% just for horses. If all you did was the horse bets, 19.5%. And I'm going to look at, I, I do keep those figures separate but my I might sort of try and um, break it down a little bit further in the description um, just so it's even clearer so um, that is where we have for stats um, it was the worst week for actual uh, loss amount the second worst week for percentages my observation would be the worst week we had felt much worse because literally nothing was happening Whereas this last week, we've had a few near misses and those near misses, like, you know, those of you remember back on Monday, we had two sixth places and we needed to come fifth. That, that, that's the kind of bet that that's the difference between me saying we've got an 87 loss and me saying we've got a small profit. Um, so it makes massive difference, some of those things. Um, it's slim margins, it's high risk, it's high value and, and it's where, where it goes. We did have a nice couple of 14 to 1 winners, which is a good highlight. Um and the percentages, I keep talking about the percentage of, of win and place, 29%, average channel 35%. So we were a little bit behind, very slim margins, um, you know, in terms of what it would have taken really to have got that a little bit better. But overall, we, we were down. So, yeah, I, I'm kind of keeping an eye on it, really, um, because it's no fun if you if you're carrying on losing. But I know the vast majority of you understand what we're doing, what we're getting and a lot of you have been here on the channel for quite a few weeks and months and 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 you know that uh it, you know I haven't, it's not like i've just got lucky one day on on some big profit day this uh the profit has built up however uh it's taken a hit um oh the other thing i was going to say is april so we made profit january february march april we were in nicely profit but because of last week being so bad we are now 20 pound down for the month of april so we've got this week to try and turn it around but as I said right at the beginning when I started this channel, I expect there will be months where I lose overall. So it's not just days or weeks. And it might be April, but you never know. We might make a nice, you know, just need £25 profit this week. Doesn't sound like a lot, but, you know, most most people who bet on horses lose. Um, so that's all we've got to do. £25 profit and uh, we'll we'll finish the April um, ahead, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to stop uh, chuntering on. I'll leave you to your day. Uh, enjoy the racing when it gets there at 10 past four today. Um, and I will see you uh, in the morning for first day of Punchestown Festival. Um, so there's some be good opportunities every day on there. I'm sure there's some nice looking handicaps. Um, and then I'll decide, you know, from a championship race point of view, whether there's anything worth going in there as well. All right. Cheerio for now. Thank you for your time. As always, good day.